welcome to Heckin. My name is Emma, I have Tourette syndrome, and I show you peeks into my life with it. Yeah! <laughs> this week we're going to be doing a lot of going into public and, you know, as we know, I have Tourette syndrome and sometimes there can be a, some some issues with that. Um, <laughs> literally just existing in public can sometimes literally be an issue. I've talked about it in multiple videos. But get excited for today. We're actually going to a brewery and going around town a bit. We'll be around lots of folks and lots of the public. And um, I will say that we are starting the day at 9.30 a.m. going to the brewery that opens at 10 a.m. <laughs> so that we can avoid large crowds. But I think it can be kind of nice to just get to places early anyway, um, especially like on a bad tick day, uh, just like to get yourself eased into a space before more people show up and before you get more of like a sensory overload and your tics inevitably get worse. Um, yeah, no, I like to be at places early. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do the day. I'm very excited to do the things, have some fun, bring you along with me. Let's do it. All right, we made it into public and we chose the most secluded place um, away from everyone. So, feeling sexy and free. <laughs> Great street. Do you feel the way that I do? I forgot. Oh my god. <laughs> What's up? It is the next day and we have really, really fun, exciting things planned and we're going out in public having a ball today. <laughs> But before we do that, I figured we'd have a quick debrief about yesterday. I think because I went out into public knowing that I was going to be vlogging about being out in public and like focusing my vlog this week on that, I kind of just noticed people looking at me more and maybe they were looking at me because of the tics, maybe they were looking at me because I was hot and smexy yesterday wearing a super cute outfit. <laughs> I don't know but it was probably because of the ticks. But yeah, no, I think also my ticks weren't like super, super bad yesterday or anything like that. But um, sometimes when the sun was hitting me into my eyes, when the sunlight was reflecting into my eyes, um, that triggers my ticks a very, very large amount. And it was quite a sunny day yesterday. So there were definitely moments when my ticks would go sicko mode and act up a lot. And in those moments, I think I got more stares, glares, if you will. But yeah, I think that it was really nice going out early before the crowds were like really full <laughs> because it's really nice to just kind of go there and adapt to the day um, and settle into being in public with your tics without <laughs> being there with a ton of people at first. Because we, we were out for a couple of hours and later into those hours, more people did end up being out in public. But since we started the day early, I kind of got to adapt to being out in public and like, you know, just, yeah, adapt with my tics. So it was nice. But yeah, let's start today. I'm very, very excited. We're going to like some marketplace or something. I don't really know what it is, but we're going with our pals. Very exciting. And I'm just ready to get the day going. Let's do it. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> What you talking about? There ain't nothing like the real thing. Oh, I said, babe, you got me running around. Too many close calls and false alarms. There's some. Is there some pineapple? Don't put too much. Stop, stop. It's too strong. Yeah, bitters are Should a we put lot. some hot sauce in there? Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Yeah? Okay. 
And you got, you got some chicken stock, right? <laughs> <laughs> chicken, chicken stock? Chicken stock? <laughs> yeah, I think so too. <laughs> um, no. What? Wait. What? Uh, no, I would use um, the yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. Okay, bartender. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. Go. It's not bad. Go, go, go. It's just the content that we're here for. Let's get away. Boom, boom. Crying eyes and thoughts long gone. Yeah, I'm thinking right here. All right, let's put it right there. Let me. All right, it's Monday and it's a little bit less of a go out in public day <laughs> besides going to like the grocery store and stuff that we're gonna do a bit later. It's more of a day where we're um, cleaning our old apartment. I don't know if you can tell, but we're at our old place today <laughs> and we're just, we're cleaning it. We are making sure that it is clean before the lease officially ends um, in, a, I think in like a week from now, a week from now. So. Let's do some cleaning. Also, I know my lips are blue. I ate some blue Takis with dinner. <laughs> day out today folks and I have gussied the heck up to go to the grocery store. Yes, have fun <coughs> with life folks. <laughs> I will say <coughs> that I am feeling that shaken up soda can feeling throughout my body that I think I've described in videos before <coughs> that um, you know is generally a feeling where I feel more ticky and um, it just doesn't feel good. It's not super intense right now. It has been a lot more intense at other times in my life. Right now it's mild enough to where I feel like I can go out in public. So I guess we'll see how my struggles are with that and being in public feeling this way. It is not a good feeling, I'll tell you that much. If you've never experienced it, you don't want to. <laughs> but yeah, let's go the heck to the grocery store and pick up, I don't know, we need to get like syrup for coffee. Not maple syrup, I am i don't do that. It's the syrup that goes in the coffee, you get me. You understand, you, you're picking up what I'm putting down. Anyway, let's... Let's go do the thing. First of all, I have been living off of Starbucks gift cards for a very long time. It's been quite swell. Second of all, the um, fizzy poppy feeling has like faded away. I think walking around has really, really helped. It's been very nice. I have hair in my mouth. Um, so yeah, been very, very good getting a little walk in. So love that for me, but don't love the hair in my mouth. Oh yeah, yeah all right. All right, my hands are full. <laughs> oh, me? Don't worry. <laughs> I just watched um, a video about one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, cats dying. Her cat is dead. <laughs> Tyler's laughing at me in the other room. It, it's, it's tragic is what it is. Anyway, we're about to go um, clean the other apartment some more. <laughs> I have a bag in my hand. Look, it's falling off the bone. Hell yeah. They don't look around over there. They really don't. Hell yeah. Okay, let's have a pleasant little debrief. This week, I went out into public a lot, had a lot of fun, and it was a great time. Um, there were just little moments, I think, that <coughs> with Tourette syndrome, <coughs> I'm always going to experience times like, you know, people are going to look at me more than they look at people who maybe don't have tics and things like that, um, that people who don't have tics don't always have to experience that I have to experience. With that being said, this week was a very good week for me when going out into public. There are other weeks that are maybe not as good. There are weeks when I don't go out into public, when I choose not to. 
There are weeks when, <laughs> when I do, um, other things happen that are maybe not as ideal. I also want to mention that my Tourette syndrome is not as severe as maybe other people's Tourette syndrome, and their tics may be a lot worse than mine. <laughs> and they never get to have as good of weeks as that I just had. There are varying levels within my weeks as one person with Tourette syndrome, and then among all people with Tourette syndrome, there are also varying levels of like how it is to go out into public just in general. I always like to say, that um, your experience with a disorder is not every single person's experience with that disorder. Um, so, you know, maybe if you are someone who has Tourette syndrome <laughs> and you are completely fine going out in public all of the time, you can't always say that, oh, everyone with Tourette's is like totally fine to go out in public all of the time and just like have a great time <laughs> and an easy time just because I have an easy time. Um, that is not always the case. Um, you can't advocate in that way because other people very well may have struggles that you don't have. Although they're experiencing the same disorder as you, they're just experiencing it in a different way. I just wanted to make sure that I said all of that because, you know, my week looked really fun and all of that, but you know, on my level, it can be different uh, for me sometimes. And then for other people, it can look very different for them. So. Glad we got that figured out. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not and um, <laughs> keep advocating for Tourette syndrome and thanks, switches.